Hey guys, welcome to Porter's six month update. Can you believe it? Porter is already half a year old. This past half year has just flown by. I feel like I'm gonna blink and he's gonna be a year old. It's just absolutely wild. Porter is a couple days into being six months old. I wanted to wait until we went to his doctor's appointment to give you guys like the full update. And so we've been to the doctor. He got more shots, just two, and then he had to drink that gooey stuff again, which he did better this time drinking it. Um, they asked me if I wanted to give him a flu shot, but it's basically almost summer and I got the flu shot while I was pregnant with him So the antibodies crossed over so I just said no, but I will definitely be getting him and Grayson flu shots um, In the fall, but anyway, yes, he did that they weighed and measured him and so I'll give you guys those stats So he is almost 18 pounds He's um, like 17 pounds 11 ounces, so he's big, but it's only the I have it on my phone. 52 percentile for weight, so he's actually not that big. His height, they were shocked about. He's in the 83rd percentile for height. He's like 27.75 inches or something crazy like that. Like, he's really, really tall, which is crazy because Anthony and I are very short, and so I'm not quite sure where these tall jeans are coming from, but yeah, they were shocked about that. And then his head, his head has always been on the bigger side, and his head was like 69th percentile. So, overall, um, they checked him over. He's doing great. He's healthy. Um, no concerns that they saw. I don't really have any concerns either. Um, so it was a good appointment. And then we made an appointment for when he turns nine months in June, which it's going to be here before I know it. I just, it's just crazy. So anyway, biggest thing with Porter this month, he really didn't do that much developmentally, like from month five to month six. He is scooting backwards. He's not crawling yet. Um, he does push all the way up on his arms, but his legs, sometimes he will get into like the crawling position. One night he got up in the crawling position and then he like catapulted forward and like face planted into the ground. But he hasn't like done rocking, the rocking motion that Grayson was doing and he has not crawled yet. So I think we're getting close, but uh, we'll see. He's also starting to sit up more on his own, so he will sit up on his own unassisted for a couple seconds and then he usually topples over. If I'm sitting behind him, he sits up no problem. So I'm thinking this month he's really gonna perfect that, which I'm hoping he does in a couple weeks because we are getting his six month pictures done and I'd really like to get some pictures of him just sitting, but we'll see. Um, by this time, Grayson was sitting up by his own, so Porter always seems to be a couple weeks behind where Grayson was developmentally. Porter is reaching for everything. Anytime I bring something close to him, he will try to reach for it. He's chewing on everything. He will get a hold of Grayson's books and will just chew through it. And he has so much saliva that he just like disintegrates the pages. So now I have to be careful on what he gets a hold of. <laughs> He's still drooling a ton, no teeth yet, but it seems like his teething is kicked up a bit. He's more fussy and, sorry, and more um, drooly, so I definitely think teeth are coming. Again, by this time, Grayson had two bottom teeth coming through. Nothing yet with Porter, but I'm sure it's coming soon. I'm not really in a rush for him to get teeth just because I am still breastfeeding. We are 100% breastfeeding right now, still going strong. We'll see how far that leads us, but um, I'm not ready for him to start biting me yet. My milk supply has done a lot better this time compared to Grayson's. Well, Grayson, like, three months and up, like, didn't want to nurse anymore, and so that tanked my um, supply. I didn't have that problem with Porter, and so we're still going pretty strong. By the time Gray turned six months, I had to start using formula. I have not had to do that yet with Porter. I don't think I'm going to make it the whole year breastfeeding, just because, like, I have trips coming up and things, and... I don't know, so I'd like a little more independence, but for now we're doing good. Formula is so expensive, so if I can breastfeed him as long as I can, I will. So sleeping at the beginning of the month, like he seemed to be doing better. Um, there were a couple times he would sleep through the night, and then there were other than that, like he would just be waking up once. Usually it would be at like 1.30 or at like 5.30 um, and the rest of the time he would just sleep, which was awesome. And then towards the end of the month, he started waking up more regularly. Um, it seemed like he was 
waking up two times a night. It would usually be at 1.30 and then 5.30. It was like on the dot. It's really weird how that was. But now that we're like a week or so into the six month, we're on day two of him sleeping through the night. So we'll see how long this goes. It's weird because he went from like one night where he woke up twice and then the next night he slept through the night. So my boobs were like totally engorged because they were not ready for that. But. Um, with him sleeping through the night, it kind of throws off his nap schedule. His nap schedule is not a schedule. <laughs> he, it's never the same from day to day. Um, usually he does fall asleep at like 9, 9.30ish. It's usually around 9.30 in the morning. That's the only regular thing. Then it's like he might sleep an hour, he might sleep a half hour, he might sleep two, three hours. Um, I used to just let him sleep as long as he wanted to, but I started realizing like he would go from like 9.30 to like 12.31 and then he wouldn't take an afternoon nap and then he would just be cranky the whole night. So I'm not doing that anymore. I wake him up by 11.30 if he's not awake. Like today I had to wake him up at 11.30 because he was still sleeping. And then usually he'll go to sleep two hours later after he wakes up. But then I have days like yesterday where he was up like three and a half hours in between. Like yesterday he woke up at 10.30, didn't go back down for another nap until like almost 2.30. So super random, his naps are never consistent. Nighttime's not really consistent either. Well, most nights he'll go to bed about 7.30 right after my oldest Grayson goes to bed. But then um, a lot of other times he'll, wake, he'll stay up until 8, 8.30. Um, so it just kind of depends. And then waking up, sometimes he'll wake up at 6, 6.30. Sometimes he'll wake up at 7.30. Sometimes I have to wake him up at 7.30. So the overall theme is he's not consistent and he always keeps me on my toes. <laughs> So eating, like I said, he's doing 100% breast milk. He's also doing baby cereal. He's doing a lot better at that. Um, he eats pretty well with um, that. We stick with the uh, oatmeal cereal, baby cereal, and he seems to like that a lot. We have started baby food now that he's six month old. So I'm doing a combination of like purees and then also baby lead weaning. I'm not super familiar with baby lead weaning, so I'm kind of going slow at it. I've given him like, big chunks or like big bananas just to like munch on. I've given him like big apple slices just to like suck on. We've given him like peanut butter and like licked it off a spoon or like our fingers just to get him used to that. But mostly like baby food so I've given him green beans and carrots so far. Um, did not like the green beans. Here's a picture of that. Carrots he likes a little bit more. I'm starting with all the vegetables and then I'll move on to fruit, which is what I did with Grayson. Um, so he does okay. He just really doesn't like being sat down a lot. And so he gets kind of bored, I think, in the high chair. So it doesn't last very long. Just like every other update, he loves to be held. He hates when I put him down. Um, if I put him in the bouncer, he does okay for a couple minutes. Same with the play gym. He seems to be liking the bouncer more than the play gym this month. Yeah, he does not like it when I put him down. <laughs> so I always have to be holding him. Huh. He loves, loves, loves being outside. Loves going on stroller walks. Um, I'll go on walks with both my boys and Grayson will walk with me and we'll push Porter in the little umbrella stroller and he loves it, loves being outside. So I think he's really gonna enjoy this summer. He loves chewing on his teether toys. He likes chewing on my fingers like you see. Um, he loves looking at Felix. That's what he's looking at right now. He loves looking at animals. Although sometimes dogs can overwhelm him. My sister has a big dog, um, a standard uh, golden mountain doodle, and um, that kind of intimidates him. And even my mom's mini labradoodle kind of intimidates him at times too. So um, dogs are iffy, but he does like our cat. He is starting to get some stranger danger here and there. So my parents came and babysat for us the other day and he was fine with my mom, I think because she looks similar to me and she comes over a lot. But then when he saw my dad, he started crying, like did not want anything to do with him. And like a couple weeks ago, we were at my sister's house and my brother and his fiance were, were holding Porter and Porter took one look at them and was like crying, hysterically crying, like did not want anything to do with them. But then my sister Allison and her husband Garrett held him and he was fine. So he's very 
inconsistent, but yeah, I am seeing a little bit more stranger danger from him. He's been really cranky this past month. Um, supposedly he's going through a leap. He is done with that leap now, now that we, he is six months old. And so into the sixth month, he does seem to be happier and not as fussy. He's just been a really needy, fussy baby. The worst is in the evenings. I think he has his witching hour. And so he will be very frustrated. Um, it's worse right before bedtime at like seven o'clock where I'm like doing the whole bedtime routine with Grayson and um, Porter's just screaming the whole time as I'm trying to like get gray and jammies, brush teeth, read a book. There will be times where I'm trying to read a book to Grayson and I can't even hear myself talk because he's just screaming the whole time. So sometimes I just have to put him in his crib and have him cry while I finish Grayson up and then I go and put Porter down for a bedtime. So sometimes that can be kind of difficult but um, he does seem to be doing a little better now that he's done with his leap, his developmental leap. He is very smiley. He loves to smile. Here's some pictures. Still not a really big laugher, doesn't really laugh um, unless it's at big brother Grayson or sometimes my husband Anthony can get him to laugh, but he does not laugh very much, but he smiles a ton, loves to smile. Oh, what's wrong? Is it, are you done with this? He loves standing. Um, he'll stand whenever he can. He has started to reach for Grayson. If Grayson's sitting near, he'll try to reach for him or whatever book he's reading, he'll try to reach for. And Grayson like hurriedly like runs away. <laughs> but yeah, he is starting to reach for things, which is super cute to see. I'll just like sit him down and put a bunch of toys around him and he'll just reach and like grab whatever toy he wants. So that's really fun. He does get bored very easily. So I have to switch it up a lot, like where we are, where we're sitting, we have to go from room to room. His hair is coming in a lot more. His bald spot in the back is going away. Um, so that's super fun. He's got these long wispy hairs on the side that he's always had, which are, I think are super cute. Anthony makes fun of them, but I think they're cute. His eyes are staying blue, so I think he's gonna keep those blue eyes. He sucks on two fingers. He's not a pacifier baby. Um, he sucks on these two fingers, which is interesting because my first son, Grayson, sucks on these two fingers so it's all different but yeah he does tend to like these two fingers he's doing that right now so he is learning more about self-soothing which is really nice sometimes he has to self-soothe himself to sleep sometimes he'll just you know fall asleep while I'm nursing him and then he'll roll over and sleep so it all just kind of depends on his mood I guess he likes songs um, he loves his Porter Hudson song that I've made up for him and then his other I don't know if I would say favorite, but like he gives like a reaction to is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. One time he was crying and so I did it and I did like the motions, the hand motions to it and he was just amazed by that. So every time I sing Itsy Bitsy Spider, he just looks at me in amazement like what is this song? Like trying to figure it out. It's not that he smiles, but he's like more curious about it. Um, but that's kind of it. I try to read books to him, he's not interested. Um, which I don't think Grayson really was at this point. <laughs> he loves looking at his reflection in the mirror and he'll give himself like kisses in the mirror. I am teaching Porter sign language and so I did this with Grayson too and he really uh. caught on. The only thing I've been teaching him right now is all done. So I'll say all done, all done whenever we're done feeding him and he is recognizing it. Like he gets happy because he knows he's done and I'll hold him. So he is starting to recognize that. Um, I plan on teaching him a few more signs as he gets bigger. Um, Grayson, you more and eat and milk. So I'm gonna start teaching him more of those things too. He's getting kind of tired of this update, so I guess I will end it here. I don't think there's really that much else to talk about anyway. Um, so thank you for watching this. I'm surprised Porter actually lasted the whole video. Usually this doesn't happen, so. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Give this video a like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. You say bye-bye? Bye. -bye. bye.